Americans over the age of 60 are unfortunately increasingly falling victim to scammers online. Last year, get this, the FBI reported scammers stole more than $3.4 billion from older Americans. That really is a shame. News 10's Madison Zaleski joins us now to explain what red flags you need to watch out for online. Patrice Rundrell, investigators say scammers are using sophisticated tactics to target older people. They often trick them to give away their life savings, leaving them broke. I think a lot of people assume it's not going to happen to them. Marsha Miller always stays alert to potential scams, as scammers have tried to persuade her in the past. Telling me that I've ordered something and I haven't, and then of course I immediately check my bank account and my PayPal account and my Venmo account. And it's like, no, I haven't. There's no record there. Elder fraud crimes are reaching record high numbers. That's especially true for Americans over the age of 60. Last year, scammers stole $3.4 billion from older Americans. That's up an 11% hike from 2022. Seniors also filed more than 100,000 complaints to the FBI. The Better Business Bureau explains why older Americans are frequently targeted. Older Americans have probably more funds because they were saving up for retirement. Uh, they have investments, they have equity, all of that. And so there certainly would be a, a good target to get larger amounts of money. The FBI says organized scammers target older Americans through a variety of schemes like romance scams, investment scams, tech support scams, and cryptocurrency scams. The BBB says it's common for scammers to falsely represent themselves, convincing victims that hackers have infiltrated their accounts. So when they call that number, they think they're speaking to a reputable person, when in fact they're talking to the very scammer that put that on their device in the first place. The BBB says to be aware of unwanted messages, look out for spelling errors, don't be pressured to act immediately, and identify who you're talking to online. If you believe you're being scammed, Miller advises others to stop, do your research, and immediately contact someone you trust for help. You just have to double check if you are getting into things that are going to cost you money uh, and they look the least bit suspicious, you need to put on the brakes and do some double checking. You can also report any scam to the BBB Scam Tracker, and that will be linked to this story on our website. Patrice Rondrell, back to you.